Hi Judy, this is to tell you about the cross stitch program that I use. It was about 10 years ago when I got interested in cross stitch first and I bought a program called Cross Stitch Designer Gold. And it was very good, limited amount of colours but and quite often you had to tweak, do a lot of tweaks to get it how you wanted. And when you stitched it, like for instance the one I'm going to show you of my cat, you'd think why is it green? Why is it green? Why is it green there? But when you look at it, it all works in beautifully. The one, I, tr I tried my uh, photographs of Logan in my cross stitch designer gold and it didn't work at all. So I downloaded PC Stitch 7 and I've tried it in that now. That gives you a lot more colours and more features and things. So I thought it would make a good job but what I found is it still does funny things with his skin, puts funny colours into it and everything. And right enough from a distance it looks right but <laughs> I think I want to take more photos and get a better one. Um, you can download them and I don't think they're awfully expensive these programmes and well worth a look at. Certainly I would say download the trial and try it out. The, the original cross stitch designer gold that I had, oh that was awkward, you had to change the image to a BMP and a 16 bit or something like that and it was really awkward because it wasn't your normal images but the new one you can just do any image with, it just seems to convert it fine. So I hope you like it, have some fun. Uh, this is the, I'll, I'll put a wee clip of the cross stitch that I did of Maggie as a kitten. My mum had come to visit and she jumped on the table on a pile of books and she was all her back was up as you'll see from the picture. Um, I'll put some of that in at the end of this to show you and have fun. Bye. So that's the cross stitch I did of Maggie as a kitten. And you do think, what's all these colours? Why are all these colours here? But the overall effect is right enough. <laughs>